Hi guys, this is Zed from Just Saying Asia with CB Sabalski. Hi everyone, how you doing? Yeah, with Marvel's Talent Scout. Yes. Yeah? Among other things. Yeah, among other things. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the man that does everything behind the scenes at Marvel. <laughs> and CB, so you know, you, I've seen you in Singapore, yep. you're now here in Manila, yep. and uh, you move and you travel a lot. Um, what do you think of Asia in general, uh, the talent that's coming out from Asia? Some of the best talent in the world right now is coming out from Asia. You know, there's a, uh, of course, Japan has its own comic book culture, which is filtered down to you know, to China, to Korea, to Singapore, and they've been the, the, the leader. And but over the last te ten years, we've seen a change, uh, especially where Marvel's becoming a bigger brand, Warner Brothers is becoming a bigger brand. We're seeing a lot of superheroes come out and have influence on kind of the the typical comic book scenes in different countries, and we're seeing just a, a real influx of talent with the skill and the styles that really match mainstream American comics. Uh, you know, be it out of Singapore, be it out of here in the Philippines, we have a long history with Marvel, uh, out of Indonesia where we found a lot of, of really good talent recently. So it's just, there's something in the water as they say, you know. A number of years ago, out, out of Eastern Europe was coming the most talent. Now most of our talent is coming out of Asia, specifically Southeast Asia. Um, I know that uh, you, Marvel already has got a very strong uh, history when it comes to uh, Having talent to the Philippines. Yes. And a lot of Filipino artists. Yeah, a lot of Filipino artists. So, which country, if you could point, uh, pick one, would you say most of the talent is coming up from right now? To date, it's definitely been from the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, I would say in the coming up, though, the most we've seen last year, the most we saw was coming out of uh, Indonesia. So it was a switch for once. Yeah. Right. Why do you think that's uh, that's happening now? I just think Indonesia is finally opening up. They've had a very strong internal local comic book culture, right. and. You know, with the rise of the internet, with stronger telecom signals, with cheaper service and the, the prep, the uh, more mobile phones being available everywhere and tablets, uh, the Indonesian artists are having more options to find influences, also get in touch with other artists and become part of that global artistic community. Learn through the internet, through social media about how to get their work seen, about how to create a portfolio, about how to better tell a story that for, uh, you know, in an American sensibilities and to get their work we're seeing more, uh, seeing more web pages, more social media blogs. They're getting a little more exposure for their work now. Um, what would be the best way to basically for an artist to showcase themselves mm -hmm. to be picked up by you? I always tell an artist or artists, and this is something that my friend Scott Young, he's a pencil I've been working yeah. for years at Marvel, mm -hmm. uh, has said. He once said that there's no such thing as overexposure. That if you're an artist, you should get your work out as much as you can. You know online and in person, you know? If you got a Tumblr, that's not enough. Have a blog, another blog. If you got a blog, have a website. If you have a website, have a DeviantArt. Have a Facebook page dedicated to your artwork. Be active on Twitter. Put it up in galleries. Make many comments, you know? Sell it on Amazon. Do whatever you can. Just do a Kickstarter. Get your work out there. And don't think, you never, it's too much. You never know where someone's gonna see your work for the first time. I cruise all kinds of social media. I talk to a lot of different artists. I get art from everywhere, and the more places you can put your art, the better your chances are of getting seen. And what would you say is, I mean, you've been with Marvel a long time, what would you say is Marvel's style? This is what Marvel is looking for uh, from an artist in terms of, uh, say, the artwork itself. Yeah. What, uh -huh. What's the Marvel style? There really is no Marvel style. There hasn't been for a long time, you know, and we, Marvel's had a, a history of experimenting with uh, different styles of artwork, you know, from, from Jack Kirby back in the day, to Frank Miller and Bill Sienkiewicz, you know, to even guys like Scotty Young or Adrian Alphonse, who I just mentioned. Um, so there's no Marvel House style. The thing that's important about Marvel that you have to remember is that we already have all the artists working for us. We have Olivier Coipel, we have Stephen McNiven, we have Jim Chung, you know, so we don't need artists who draw in those styles. And those are artists who are a lot of, inspire a lot of young artists. But find your own style. It's okay to use any artist as inspiration. Just don't cross that line to imitation. We want something that's unique. We want something we haven't seen before. We want something that is, is visually exciting that people are going to see and go, wow, this is different. We want to read a Marvel comic in this style. Right. And, you know, um, there have been a lot of... Uh, what do you think of the new Marvel Universe? It's just rebooted? It's going to be yeah, about to be after Secret Wars. That's right. Uh, it's an exciting time. I'm not a big fan of kind of the whole, you know, start everything from scratch, everything right. changes. And thankfully, you know, you know, Marvel's not doing that here. It's the Marvel Universe we know and love. It's the same characters that we've known, that we've grown up with. Every comic in my long box still counts. You know, all those stories have happened before. And it's just a new chapter now, you know. It's a, we're at a fine line between bringing in new readers, 
and respecting the old readers. In this case, I think with the secret, post Secret Wars, all new, all different Marvel, we found the perfect way to do that. The characters you know and love are going to be the same. But there's going to be some slight changes. You know, Bruce Banner isn't the Hulk anymore. Miles Morales is going to live in the Spider-Man universe now. You know, there's uh, the Inhumans are going to play a, a larger role in a lot of things. So there's going to be different tweaks on the Marvel universe, but everything is going to be familiar. It's just like walking into your old house, but the furniture has been rearranged a little. <laughs> And, um, you know, there's been, I would say the movies have helped a lot yeah, in terms of viewership. Without a doubt. And, but how much of influence do the movies now have over what's happening in the comics? You know, Marvel and all our divisions have a very symbiotic relationship. Movies, comics, video games, animation, licensing, consumer products, you know, not to mention, you know, our partners at or, you know, at Disney, at Pixar, you know, we're all very creative people in all those divisions. We like to share, and we're not afraid to take influences from anywhere. You know, a good idea is a good idea. You know, so if the movies have a good idea, yeah, we can incorporate some of those in comics, but a lot of the movie ideas do come from the comics, you know? When we're doing video games, there might be a great idea for a video game, we want to incorporate something into the, the comic book universe and vice versa. You know, one of the things I like to say is that the Marvel is like a, a body, you know? And if you think about the body, the movies are now the face. That's what everybody sees, you know? Boom, that's face. Oh, that looks good. You know, we like that. But the arms and the legs are kind of the limbs that, that carry the body. Those are like the licensing division, games, animation. You know, that's what, you know, a lot keeps the, 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 the Marvel uh, body going. But at, at the heart, that's where the comic division is. You know, we're the heart that beats and pumps the creative blood into the rest of the body to keep it going. You know, without the comic book division, we wouldn't have any of the other parts of the body. It would be dead. So we keep the blood flowing, and in turn, the blood, you know, comes back and circulates to us with things that's picked up from the rest of the body. So it's just one big symbiotic, you know, relationship. I'm not sure if you can answer this, though. Um, if you could, if we could just watch out, or if there was one character we could watch out for now, yep. that's never been as, you know, um, Never been an A-class character, an A-grade character. Who would that be? Yeah, I, for me, the answer is very simple, and okay. I would have said this even before I knew the movie was coming. But Doctor Strange, okay. what Jason Aaron and what Chris Pacello are doing with that series is just fantastic. The way they're rethinking magic and the mysticism in the Marvel universe. Chris's crazy visuals um, are just going to blow people away, and it's just very conveniently timed because we have the mo the movie coming now in uh, next November with Benedict Cumberbatch, okay. Doctor Strange. So Jason's been wanting to do Doctor Strange for a long time. You know, we knew there was a movie coming somewhere, and Jason was hard at work on this well before the announcement. Then the announcement, we said, wow, what serendipitous timing. You know, here we go. We're going to have two great Doctor Strange prizes in the same year. So it's, uh, it, 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 it's like, almost like we planned it. One last question, and the most important of all. All right. Which team is? Cap or Team Iron Man? Team Iron Man or <laughs> Team Cap? Uh, <laughs> let's see. In this case, I'm going to have to say I'm Team Cap. Yeah? Yeah, I really... Uh, <laughs> It's not so much anti-establishment, but you know, it's just I, I respect the Civil War, the comic book, and the movie. I think Cap was on the right side. Yeah? Yep. Thank you, Steve. What about you? Oh, Cap or Iron Man? Team Cap all the way. All right. Thank Excellent. <laughs> Great. Thanks, th thanks for chatting, and thank you, everyone, for watching. So our artists, we're just equally talented. We're just, uh, devote, uh, we're just funneled through different, you know, different uh, art forms. We're in American comic, into American comics, some are into video games, design, movie design, concept art. So yeah, 